Hello and welcome back to another episode of Octo Reacts featuring everyone's least favorite cephalopod, me, the disgruntled octopus. Hello. And today we're actually going to do a uh, reaction video to J-Rod Flips. So before I go into it, I know J-Rod's pretty popular. Um, I've got nothing against him. I've watched him a few times on Soda City Flips channel. <laughs> it's just by virtue that he's raised the subject. So like I said, it's nothing against this person. I don't want to get people chasing me with pitchforks and you know torches and all these different things. It's just basically I want to draw attention to below standard. Don't necessarily agree uh, with what Jay Wright's saying, so I'm just going to put my spin on it. I have been below standard before, right? So I can give you a, an accurate representation of what happened to me, uh, especially in the Australian platform. However, you'll find, and I've just gone across all the different policies, it trickles across all the different policies, very similar. So what I'm going to tell you today is probably something you want to be very mindful of. If you're going to take away one thing from this video, Please do not fall below standard because I would dare say 80% of people that fall below standard either lose their accounts or give up on reselling altogether because it is very, very, very hard slog to get out of it. So if you, like I said, if you only take one thing away, make sure you take care of that. Anyway, but um, <laughs> I might as well do a shameless plug for my other channel. I've actually got a dedicated Octo Reacts channel, which I react to all different type of things. I um, actually reacted to the Silent Hill trailer last night. So if you're that way inclined, I will put the new channel in the description field below, and I would love for you to slither over there and check it out if you will. However, we'll, without further ado, we'll get started right. Oh, we're going to find the mouse now. I've been incredibly busy. This is my first what sold video since I've dipped below standard. We'll hop into those numbers a little bit as well. All of these sales are from the last 19 hours. Sold this Peloton screen here. I got it at a thrift store for $15. It was listed for about two and a half weeks. I listed it at $129. Um, it had a ton of watchers. I sent out an offer for 15% off, so it sold for like $111.55 or something like that, plus shipping. And again, moved in uh, about two weeks. Sold this Patagonia jacket. You guys saw this in a video if you follow me on TikTok. That's what I need. I need a, like a wardrobe to hold my clothes up in. <laughs> They're currently in little, little satchels in the garage in lots of tubs, and I keep losing tracking of the numbering system. But yeah, I need a rack. I know Grumpy Granny has a rack, so maybe I need to invest in one. Talk, got it for And I also hate clothes, so I won't be doing that. $10, listed it this morning, and it sold about two and a half hours after being listed. Went for $60 plus shipping on a 15% off offer. One of the rare makeup products that is selling more on eBay than it is on Amazon. Sold this Jaclyn Cosmetics for $40 plus shipping. I got it. Just for those in Australia, and I know this is probably a cream or something like that, you know, if you do know, let me know in the comment section below, but you can't send perfume uh, through the post. It's a flammable liquid. Uh, you will get in trouble if they find it. I've never heard of anyone being found out. However, be very, very mindful. It is a dangerous good. You can't send it through the post. Yeah, all the, yeah this stuff is fine, but yeah, make it uh, perfume. For $4.82. and like 82 cents. I had this listed forever at $25. After 90 days, I marked it down to 19. Someone offered me 10. I countered with 16. Then they offered me 12. And I said, yeah, why not? Let's just get it out of here. Major. So what big thing with the... Um below standard what j Rowe hasn't got to and he might get back to a little bit into his later in his video is that the way that you come below standard is you actually there's two metrics you need to look at so received and not as described so basically if you get an inad or an inr um, and you ignore it so basically the case closes without seller resolution or you actually cancel an item at for being out of stock or broken uh, so basically keep away from those ones there is a two percent limit on um so basically cancelling out of items if you're a brand new ebay account or a brand new ebay reseller um, i would strongly suggest you only list 10 items initially and just wait for those items to go through make make them sure that they're very high sell through rate but keep a very 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 tight inventory system from the start because 2% is 100 transactions, right? So if you're basically starting to cancel things after one or two transactions, you're in a world of hurt. Uh, so basically, you will fall to 
below standard uh, quite quickly. As soon as you hit that 2%, regardless of your top rated, you don't fall down to above standard and all those different things. You will fall directly to below standard in your next so selling cycle, which it depends. Um, it's generally every month. I think it's around about the 17th that they, they do all those different things. And I will talk a, bit, a little bit later about how to get out of below standard or how I actually did it. Um, and like I said, it was a very, very, very long three months log. So be very, very, very mindful. It's not easy to do it. So um, what I would suggest later as well is, you know, if you are out of stock for an item, how to rectify that. So as you guys can see, I'm still selling a ton of items on eBay, despite being in below standard. And that is the power of focusing on items that have high demand, or as we like to call it, fast sell through rate. So I wouldn't be cheerful as uh, J-Ride there <laughs> if I was below standard, because like I said, I have been there before and it's not a fun experience, but he's 100% correct. And this is what I would suggest if you fall below standard. If you fall below standard, please reach out to me on Instagram. I will more than happy to talk to you about it, how you, you can actually you know, circumvent it or get out of it as quickly as you can. But what he said that your you high sell-through rate or your high demand items is the way you need to do it. So basically... What will happen is you'll actually get another fee applied to you, being it like a high risk fee. Uh, in Australia, it's five and a half percent. So that's on top of your final value fees. I did notice in the US that they restrict you from using promoted listings. So they turn your promoted listings off. So that's something that you can't do to try and increase that rate. Um, so you need to sell about 400 items over a period of three months. Um, it's basically to be reviewed on a three month cycle. And this is what I needed to do when I fell below standard a couple of years ago. Um, it was just the period of time I just you know, started working um, in a very high intensive job. Probably cancelled some, uh, you know, some orders that I shouldn't have because I mispriced them, all these different things, and you know, the supply and demand came into it. So in hindsight, it would have been better off financially is actually just taking the loss <laughs> on the two or three items that I did cancel. Um, because like I said, that, that definitely cost more in the long run than it did. I was below standard for just over three months, I think it was, because I started sourcing very cheap items and making marginal profits on it. And I'm, like, I'm talking two to three cents just to basically get through that 400 threshold. Um, because if you sell less than 400 uh, items over a 30-day, oh, sorry, <clears throat> over a 90-day period, uh, basically your evaluation period is 12 months and you will be below standard for 12 months and it will be <laughs> i can guarantee you 99.9 .9 of people that below standard for over 12 months or around that 12 month mark either ebay will kick you off the platform because you have a three month evaluation cycle which you need to show that you're getting better or alternatively you'll give up because it's a lot complicated it is so what jay Rod's saying there is look at the high sell through rates um i used to say buy you know maybe 50 cent dvds or 10 cent dvds really dirt cheap dvds uh, and sell them at you know 3.99 or 4.99 with free postage just to you know to get that item count up so that's something you need to be very mindful of like i said i'm not as optimistic as j-rod <laughs> i don't know how he fell below standard um like i said i watch him when he's on you know shane's live or he's on a couple of other lives um, that i watch however i don't watch him directly so like i'm not too sure about the background but realistically what it comes down to is the only way that you can fall below standard and this is across all the platforms is that if you actually ignore you know seller resolutions so basically like i said the inars and the inads you ignore it and ebay closes it or alternatively you are cancelling transactions so if you have a scan um, through a post office then you can basically prove that you know you have lodged the item and it hasn't arrived um, ebay will close it but it won't be closed against you for that matter um, or alternatively i hear a lot of people talking about late shipment rates so i think you've got about five percent late shipment rates mine's normally floating around about 0 0.5 which it's pretty bad in itself <laughs> sometimes i just can't be bothered going to the post office uh which is not recommended but like hey it's life i'm, I'm only an octopus but what it comes down to is basically if you get to five percent you won't fall below standard in any capacity you'll go to above standard and that's fine so don't worry too much about it that's what you need to be very mindful of. So below standard is that you you need to basically be cancelling transactions, um, yeah, you know, for being out of stock or broken uh, after they've purchased it, uh, or alternatively ignoring uh, requests that come through eBay. I'm going to keep showing you guys a few sales again, just from the last 19 hours, and then we're going to dive in a little bit deeper into my actual numbers and show you guys what's going on within the business since it's gone below standard. I promise you guys keep focusing on faster and faster sell-through rate items, items that have more and more demand, and your life will just get 
better and better and better on eBay and in, in general. That's if you're not below standard. <laughs> like I said, the, um, I never really had much anxiety until I fell below standard. And like I was saying, it was a slog. So please, you know, don't be charmed by Jay Rides. I, I know he's a nice guy. You know, he's fantastic and he's doing the best he can with his business. However, like I said, I can't stress enough, do not fall below standard. Uh, if there's an opportunity to get, um, you've got 30 days after a decision's been made against your account. Um, if you've got evidences to suggest otherwise, please reach out to eBay within those 30 days to have that defect removed from your account to bring those percentages down, especially if you're a new, if you're a new seller. Um, eBay is quite heavy with the band hammer, um, especially in the States. So be very mindful of that. I promise. It's cool vintage Monroe calculator sold for $125 plus shipping the day I listed it yesterday. Um, I listed it at 150, 15% off to offer, sold instantly. Oh, and I See how he's using the opportunity to, to send offers out to quite quickly move those products out. Um, these items I've never even seen nor heard of, so they might be quite scarce on the platform. So in the sense that if he's the only person selling it, someone wants to buy it, um, there's a good chance that he'll make the sale of it. So what does happen in below standard as well, and I forgot to mention a little bit earlier, is that your listings plummet to the bottom of the page. So if you're selling... A DVD, for example, or something along the lines of that, or a very highly saturated market. And this is why I would suggest that if you're selling clothing and you're in below standard, you need to find a new niche immediately um, and find something that has a very sell quick sell through rate. Um, yeah, not that I'd suggest drop shipping. However, yeah, drop shipping traditionally has a very high sell through. Um, you can move products a lot quicker. You're not going to make as much money, but like I said, that that's something that I probably. One of the occasions I would suggest, but very cautious uh, how you conduct it, <laughs> which I've got another dropshipping video coming out there in the next couple of days, hopefully, um, if I have a chance to film it. But be very mindful of the fact is that, you know, if you're in a very high saturated niche or a high saturated market for a particular item, the likelihood of your item appearing on page one is zero. It's probably going to be appearing on page 19 of <laughs> of 17 pages so like i said you can't promote you can't get up the top of the listings really what you have working for you is you know the lowest price plus shipping so obviously if someone's you know clicking on that lowest uh price little button um that's the what you want to do is you probably want to undercut the market by 10 15 dollars depending on the price point but definitely definitely undercut the market when you're below standard okay. huge sell here one of these ralph Lauren sunglass eyeglass frames sold i'm too lazy to get the actual one for the video <laughs> but sold for eight dollars on on poshmark huge profit here i think i made like three dollars and three cents and my cost of goods into that is a dollar fifteen so i made like dollar <laughs> seventy all right guys let's dive and that's what it comes down to like, like i said those very very short you know, profit margins, move your stuff like quickly. Those glasses hypothetically might sell on eBay for $20, $30, $40. If I was below standard, they'd be $9.99 with free postage just to get them out the door. You need to get that 400 items light, right? Like I was saying is that you, you need to make your, your items as attractive as possible. Make sure that you're taking very clear photos. Make sure you're taking any blemishes into consideration. Make sure your description's on point. Uh, be very, very, very stringent on um everything so don't basically don't shortcut anything uh, e the way i look at it right is that ebay is looking for any opportunity to get you off the platform because you're high risk uh, and that's the reason why they push your listings right to the bottom dive into the numbers a little bit of how the revenue of my ebay business has gone down since i went into below standard at the recording of this video all of these items i pulled on the 21st of may it is now the 29th of may so a week and a day later since then um, on the day that I was pulling all these items to show you guys, my 31-day total was at $13,272.41, which is the lowest that it has been in two years since I started this business. And that's correct. I, I just went and ran across to my spreadsheet, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for when I went below standard because, you know, hey, why not? <laughs> Chris Furlong loves his spreadsheet, so why can't I? Um, so my sales plummeted about 60 to 70% over that three-month period. So like I said, I, I sold a Lego set for probably $200 under market, pr primarily for the, you know, the mistake of, you know, probably listing when I was tired or not paying attention too heavily, you know, sold instantly. Um, you know, begrudgingly, I canceled the transaction and told them I was out of stock or something along the lines of that. That was the one that triggered the, the out of stock thing. So, sorry, that triggered the below standard for me. And like I said, that the, at the rate of $200, I probably lost. And this was over at the Christmas period. So I lost you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So be very mindful. Do not fall below standard. 
Today, eight days later, it has come all the way down to $10,509.25. I have never seen it below $10,000 for a 31 day total, but that, no, I don't think it's gonna happen. It could, but uh, what the things- It will. What's going on in my business right now, I don't think it will be. Anyway, we'll get to that. So even with all of that said, reselling is, things are going great in reselling and eBay specifically. So if we look, so just as a bit of a octopus advocate for, for what Jay Wright's saying there is imagine how much better it would be going for him if he wasn't in below state. And like I said, I'm not too sure what happened. I like Jay Wright. I don't the numbers. My sales to date are down 52.7%. That's very close to my 60% that I said earlier. So there you go. Like, like I was saying, it hasn't changed in a couple of years. And yeah, you know, I don't know if in the United States they get copped with an extra fee. Like we get a five percent fee on top of that as well. So um, <clears throat> just be very mindful of what what the, the consequences are. And like I was saying, is that you before you even list the first thing on eBay, you should get to know the platform, know how to post items, know how to ship items from this time last year. <laughs> Yet things are going great. There's a few reasons for that. A little bit of it contributes to being below standard, obviously, because I'm. I reckon 100% of it does. I'm selling less items on eBay, therefore I'm making less revenue on eBay. But the majority of that is actually because this time last year I had 3,000 items in my shop and I was exclusively selling on eBay. Now I'm selling on Mercari and Poshmark and Amazon. My store has come down all the way to 1,500 items. Okay, so at 3,000, I was selling $21,000 this month last year. My average last year was about 22.5K every month revenue. Now it's down to 10,500, but my store is literally cut in half. I suppose we're gonna play octopus advocate here for a second as well is that I would say over the, over the space of 12 months, you know, he's sourcing or he's picking per se has become a lot better. So, you know, for those 3000 items, <clears throat> not everything you're going to pick up sells right. So you're, you're obviously going to make some mistakes and something. So realistically, over the past 12 months, he's learned what sells, what higher sell through rate, what sells for more money and all those different things. So he's probably shrunk his store by the sense of, you know, getting rid of the garbage and all those different things. And like you're saying, he's obviously, you know, moved his, um, you know, sites over to Amazon and Macari, Poshmark and all these different things, which we don't have in Australia. <laughs> so you, you don't have a, an alternative platform to sell on if you get screwed over by eBay. Um, and J Rod, you know, yeah, he's quite popular on YouTube as well. And I, I think I just checked. I think he's got about forty thousand subscribers as well. Um, and he's probably, you know, generating a, a hell of a lot of YouTube income from that as well. So basically, there's all these different things that come into play. Um, so just need to take into consideration. Yes, he's you know spreading quite thin. However, I dare say, from you know from my perspective and my experience, um, below standard is contributing to a fair chunk of that number going down. So my numbers are still relatively the same, even though I'm below standard, if you compare it to my store, um, my store size. All right, we're back. I didn't realize that <laughs> I recorded the second half of this video with the mute button on the microphone. So I've had to go back and <laughs> do all those different things. So I'm not entirely sure how that did it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick up from where we left off um, and I'll go from there. So... Unfortunately, we only heard Jay Rod speaking when I did that video. 3,000 items to 1,500 items. Now, let's talk about the negative side effects about going below standard. Uh, when I went below standard about 45-ish days ago, I had 1,600 items in my eBay shop, and I was selling 15 items on eBay alone, which meant my sell-through rate was about 92% or so, give or take. Which is a good sell-through rate, actually. Like, yeah, like I was saying, is that you need to really hone in on those items that sell quite quickly. So, every month prior to falling below standard for J Rod, he was looking about four hundred and fifty items a month, which is quite good in itself. Like I was saying before, you need that four hundred items over a ninety-day period. So he's quite good in that respect. So, good, good, good. All of those sixteen hundred items were cross-listed onto Mercari, where I was selling about four per day. So I had about a point two, about a point. I had a 25% sell through rate on Mercari. And then I had about 500 items, just the clothing and the sunglasses and the makeup and stuff like that cross listed to Poshmark, where I was selling just under one item per day. So, so just remember in Australia, we don't have Poshmark, we don't have Mercari, we have very limited access to Amazon. So that's not something along the lines of there. So 
going back and sound like a broken record, you need to be very, very mindful of your statistics on eBay. So a lot of people, you know, talk about top rated being, you know, some kind of godly place, all these different things. You see kind of like top rated parties and you know, people celebrating it on Facebook groups and all these different things. It's the absolute standard you need to be to be competitive on eBay. It's nothing special. Everyone will eventually get to top rated seller. Um, but like I was saying is that you need to stay there. Even above standard is going to hurt your metrics. If we run those numbers, I was selling 21 items per day and my store shrunk all the way from 3000 and then was really maintained. I was listing about 20 items per day. So my store size was stuck at about 1600. Then I went below standard and I, and I immediately started to sell about seven items per day on eBay. What I noticed though, actually, if we look into these numbers, my traffic is down 26%, 25.9%. My listing page views is down 25.6%, but my sales conversion rate is up 0.2%. Before I went into below standard, the reason why that poor is because they're, they're choking his traffic. So he's still selling, you know, seven items a day, but he's selling those off a higher ratio than his previous traffic. So that's what will happen. And this is what I said to you before is that if you fall below standard, your items will naturally gravitate towards the bottom of the search listings. Um, so, you know, if there's 18 pages of listings, yours will probably be on the bottom of page 18. Um, so that's, the reason why he's not getting the traffic and that's why he's not getting the listing um, impressions. I was averaging eight organic sales per day and the rest were promoted listings. Now I'm selling about seven or eight items per day with no promoted listings. What I've noticed since going into below standard is that literally I have just had my, my, um, my promoted listings taken away from me. And that's about it. I continue to sell the same amount of organic sales per day as I did at above, at above standard as I do below standard. All that's been taken away from me are my promoted sales, which tells me and it tells you guys, if you have in demand items and you put them on eBay, they'll sell. So what that's what it comes down to is make sure you're finding items that are irrelevant to what you're selling. Um, you know the niche well enough and they're quite quickly to move. So that's something you need to be mindful of. You have in-demand items and you put them on eBay, they'll sell. So that's what right. I've gathered from being in below standard is that if I put quality items that are in demand on eBay, they will sell. If I have good titles and good photos and good prices and good shipping and return policies, they will sell. I will get the eyeballs and I will get the traffic necessary to sell them and then that's if it's not saturated. So like I was saying before, you need to be very mindful of saturated niches. And that's why I wouldn't recommend clothing, uh, potentially electronics, uh, potentially video games. You know, like I was saying, very, very, very cheap video, uh, DVDs and all those different things is probably what to be focus on if you are below standard. What promoted listings truly do is promoted listings don't actually make the sale. It just increases the velocity of the sale. So, so what that means in layman's terms, it improves your cash flow. <laughs> so realistically, I'm happy to pay a little bit extra um, to free up that cash flow. You know, if I'm, I'm not working off bare minimum margins like I was when I was doing uh, drop shipping. So be very mindful of the fact that it is that if you are promoting, promote enough that will actually increase the, the traffic flow through or, you know, obviously the, the item sell through. Something that I do, and I have mentioned previously that I do promote up to 15% dynamic. Um, yeah, that's on books, media, saturated categories. Video games are around 10%. Uh, then, yeah, if it's a, a very in-demand item, uh, it will be at 5%. However, if it's I'm the only person selling it on eBay, I won't promote it at all. If I want to just stay at about eight or nine sales per day through organic listings, I can do so. And then if I would like to get back up to 15, 20 sales per day, once I'm out of um, below standard, I'll just turn back on my, my promoted listings and then I will increase the velocity of my sales, which is my plan. I'm gonna show you guys two more quick sales in Mercari and then I'm going to let you guys know what my future plans are for selling on eBay. I will also be... Okay, that's enough for today for J-Rod, but thank you very much, J-Rod, for providing that information for us in regards to that, for a case study. 
Um, so, like I say, in the, in the <laughs> to not sound like a broken record, is that please stay out of below standard. If you're an above standard, obviously the projection. If you're if you're a new re eBay reseller per, per se, constantly just check. Yeah, you know, maybe check once or twice a day just to you know into your um, into your messages and all these different things to see if you got any cases open. Rectify for a say. But anyway, that's thank you very much for watching for us today. If you are fond of this kind of content, please comment, like, and share, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'd be gratefully appreciated if you could slither over to the Octo Reacts channel. I will put a comment in the description below if you'd like to check that out as well. But thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.